So it's uh, Friday night and it is the 12th of October and uh, weather here in London has started to uh, to get a little bit colder. It's been still fairly mild, but one of the things I've been uh, very much thinking about is how do I make sure that this coming winter I uh, remain nice and toasty on the Sea Evo. Now uh, uh, the bike, uh, my bike at least, uh, does come with heated grips, which is great. Um, but I don't today, for instance, have a, uh, a touring windshield, so I'm thinking about getting that. But one of the things that I did order was uh, what they call an apron. So something that basically allows my, uh, my legs to, to kind of stay covered. And uh, I'm kind of hoping that with the rain and the inevitable snow and all of that kind of fun stuff coming in, uh, that'll allow me to keep kind of touring uh, into work each and every day. So unfortunately, there are hardly any makes uh, of any brands that uh, basically cater for the sea evolution uh, they're just too rare i think uh, for any manufacturer to really kind of make a, make a big effort on but a french company <clears throat> called baxter um baxter uh, they basically make a bespoke kind of custom apron for uh, a sea evolution uh, and i saw one funnily enough uh, in in uh, near work uh, about a month ago or so so it kind of got me looking uh, online for one and um, um, basically it takes about three four weeks to, to, to order I think mine was about two and a half odd weeks to actually get it in so it was quite quick um, and uh, not cheap they're over 250 odd uh, pounds uh, I literally got mine I think for 250 pounds or 230 pounds which was pretty much the cheapest I could find it anywhere so um, I'll show you uh, the packaging in a second and then I'll also show you what it's like to, to put it on so here we go. So this is the, uh, the packaging that it came with. Um, it's kind of dropped off uh, by my neighbor. Um, and uh, basically this is what it's looking like. So a uh, good set of in, uh, instructions, I think. Let's have a look, but you can just have a, a brief view around uh, what the apron looks like. So <clears throat> when, I, uh, when I saw it actually on a different Sea Evolution, it was, uh, yeah, it was a really sturdy piece of kit. So uh, I was quite impressed when I had a quick look at it. Uh, but I've got no idea how to actually uh, install it yet. So that'll be uh, an interesting thing for us to, to have to look at and worry about. But uh, yeah, it looks like there are just some uh, simple clips. So I think photo one, that looks as though that bit on the right where the, uh, where the line goes there, that's a screw that it ties into. And then here it basically clips, I think behind one of the, uh, the air vents there think there as well so nice thing is uh, it does come with a good level of uh, different language instructions and uh, yeah so I think we're gonna give this a, a good go so yeah a company called Bagster and the website Bagster.com and so uh, we'll take an attempt at uh, getting this fitted in a moment right it is super rainy and I'm going to attempt at actually fitting the uh, Bagster apron so first of all I will be taking out that screw and the one just over on the other side because we're going to be fitting one of the uh, straps to it. So we'll do that in a moment. And that is one. All done. Now the second one. And that is the second one. All done. Ready to put the apron. Just managed to uh, finish putting these uh, these two on. Still taking shape a little bit, so I'll see that in a second. But. Actually, these little clamps that kind of go and stick behind it, I found it quite a bit easier if you've got something like a prying tool where you're able to kind of get behind this and just a little bit pulling it back just allows you to kind of get the, uh, the little uh, hooks in behind it, which is good. Now, according to the instructions, they're meant to be some sort of rubbing strips uh, kind of that uh, can sit behind this, but unfortunately they don't appear to have come in the post uh, with it. So the risk is a little bit that it will start to rub, so I'm going to make sure I've got something uh, protective uh, behind that before uh, before starting to write that in the interim. I might send them a quick email and see if Bagster may uh, send some uh, anyway. On to the other side. And this is what the bike looks like all done pretty much. Uh, it's really fantastic quality, I must admit. The inside of it is really just beautiful, kind of a nice suede kind of material. Can definitely tell this uh, this will keep things warm um, comes with a piece of elastic to keep it all uh, nice and uh, and dry um, I think uh, the only thing I'll have to think about a little bit more is just how I uh, kind of manage
manage my key a little bit uh, and I uh, don't think there's a way to, to do that any better than, than this but it will scratch so I think I just need to change my keys uh, a little bit just to, to do that but I mean like I just had a, a quick sit in it and uh, basically the moment that uh, you sit in it this bit nicely tucks away in a zipper just underneath here and it really is an, an apron so this basically loops around you and uh, just uh, velcros on the other side. I've got a feeling that may over time become a little bit less uh, less uh, workable but uh, but yeah it's a really really nice scooter actually uh, cover and uh, I think given uh, the English weather which is a uh, managed to turn as you can already see I think this is going to be really good for the daily commute so I uh, even thinking about getting a, uh, a higher screen maybe just to provide a little bit more additional kind of protection from uh, from the rainy weather but uh, yeah really really good so far and uh, be interesting to see what it's like to live with uh, on a uh, on a daily basis in the coming week but uh, yeah very very pleased so there you go uh, a thumbs up on the apron from Baxter for the moment.